All right, here we are. Richard, did you rejoin us? Oh, great. Are pharmaceutical companies to blame for the increased prescription drug overdoses? Sure, let's blame them. <laughs> Partly. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're in it for the money, right? I mean, that's... Exactly. But, but That's what people don't... Yeah, they're in it to save. No, they're in it for the money. But, right? it's, but it's more like, like our president and... Um, the drugs are Botticelli, right? right? Their souls are good, I think. I think they're good people who want to do a good job for the American people. And over here, you have um, these heads of pharmaceutical companies, and they feel like quarter over quarter, year over year, their bottom line is like air Absolutely. that they need to breathe. So if you have somebody who wants to do a good job for the country versus someone who wants to survive, it, you're not, it's but not the working. Wait, wait, let's be, I, I think we should be clear. The drug czar is an awful person. It's an awful office that should not exist. Right. We have a drug policy yes. and the entire legal infrastructure is set up to treat us as children. It, mm -hmm. it gives pharmaceutical companies more power. It gives the FDA more. It makes it more difficult to come out as an addict or having a substance abuse problem. So the government is implicated here too, and, I'm not, and you know what we need to do. We've grown up on many issues, I think, in the country, and we're starting to on drugs. And but it's the carceral state that gets in the way of all of this type of stuff. So Whether I, I or not it's, that's, Portugal that's legalized all yeah. drugs Decrim and right. decriminalized get, all drugs, and drug saying. abuse rates plummeted. Of crime course. associated with drugs fell. Addiction right. rates fell Instead after they legalized in jail, all drugs. Look, I understand. Look, I'm not an advocate for jail. Yeah, I'm an no, advocate I, for treatment, but. You know, whether or not the I, office I is something... Stand, I can't sit by and somebody say the drug czar is a good person. That's, no, 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 no. Whether or not the office is something that should even exist is not something yeah. that I'm an expert on, and I don't pretend to uh, talk about it. But I do think he's a good soul, and I do think... Well, you run a drug treatment center. But he's you a, might have an opinion <laughs> on that. Well, wait a minute. It's he's not a, exactly from left field wait for a you. Minute. He's a recovering addict. Like you. That's right. So, you know, when you're in it, and these are our people, you're, you've got a vested interest in But this in does this affect thing. your business. You what, know. what part of it? Uh, having a drug czar. Having our policy the way it is in this country, where we punish people instead of treat them. It's actually probably good for your business. The drug czar is good for my business? Well, I'm just saying, if, if, this, if the government took over what you do, which they possibly should, uh -huh. yeah, it might be a better system. I'm not saying uh -huh. they could do it better than you. They should probably hire you. Right. But we have a, a terrible system in this country where we criminalize people who should be... Do you eat at a lot of government restaurants, be... Bill? What's that? Do you eat at a lot of government well, restaurants? Well, no, if we spent I a fraction... I don't get the analogy there. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, let me tell you this. If the government takes over both providing drugs as well as treating drugs... It's going to suck. Well, they're not taking... That's away. what free markets are for, they're, and they're, they're very good at The government is providing drugs? No, I'm saying if, if you know, if, if you want the government to get involved in... No, I, I, I'm, I'm with you on this yeah. one. I want I decriminalization of drugs. And socialized medicine. Well, no, not yeah. take the right. profit Absolutely. out of health. Absolutely. Why, like, why do you say no to that? And take like the every of what we spend punishing people and arresting people and prosecuting yeah, people and things. jailing people for drug crimes socialized and spend medicine, it on treatment. Socialized okay. medicine does not innovate in medicine. The reason we're punishing English, people... The English in, national in, health system is The reason we're putting is people in jails is because it, the jails are privatized. And that's... No, that's, not that's true. That is, of course that is, they are. What, what percentage of the American uh, criminal population Listen, I just had some guy come to my office that wanted me to invest in a jail. So okay. Don't, so, don't, wait, we are the world's biggest jailer nation. Absolutely. Right? And it isn't because of private corporations. 90% of prisoners are in, you know, state-owned prisons. We're locking people up. That, it isn't the profit motive. Well, it, is well the, it, it absolutely is the profit motive. The prison guard union yeah, is a true. very powerful yeah, union. Yeah, I know, and there are And it lobbies for prison. things like three are, strikes, you're out. And they because to them, prisoners prison. are customers. Yeah, I agree. So don't tell me that it's not the profit yeah, motive. What I'm saying is don't say it's private prisons. Well, it's it is private. partly private, private business. business. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Brian Cranston. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> What can we expect to learn from your forthcoming memoir? Ah! <laughs> You're uh, writing a memoir. I, I, wrote, I wrote a memoir, yeah. It's, it's 60, called like A Life in Parts. So yeah. it, I have to look back on my life because it's over soon, right? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, it was just, you know, it, it's an, uh, uh, 
short stories that are autobiographical. And, and I, I, I had a very challenging childhood. And uh, in challenging. retrospect, yeah, I mean, challenging. Didn't have a father around. Mm. There was a lot of alcoholism and drug abuse and um, abandonment. And you know, you're, you're left to your own devices at a, a very young age, and you grow up too fast. But that helps you as an actor. It does, in a way. It helps because you as an you actor. Have something to draw on when you have to like be emotional. Like, yes. Oh, my dad was mean. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's drawing on it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I, <laughs> I said he was a great lesbian. <laughs> lesbian, <laughs> lesbian, what about Dan Savage, in the years you've been writing a sex advice column, have people's problems changed much? <laughs> Y no. <laughs> Thanks to abstinence education, I have a non-stop supply of sexually miseducated idiots who are getting themselves in trouble. <laughs> for generals. And how can Donald Trump win the election after alienating Hispanics, a key demographic, and women? Let's let's be honest. He's Hispanics not love him. Didn't you see the taco bowl? <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I love you know, Hispanics. I don't, I don't <laughs> think this is funny because Donald Trump's campaign began with a big lie about the people who are coming here legally or Ill right. illegally, accusing them of, of Mexico of sending their rapists, sending the murderers. Some of them may be nice people, but <laughs> and that's just a big demagogic lie that was like mm. a shot of adrenaline right into the worst of our body politic. It just inflamed... What do you mean it's a lie? You're claiming illegal aliens don't commit murders and rapes? That isn't what he no, was saying. No, at no higher rate, at a lesser rate. It's a yeah. demagogic well, lie because you're likelier true. to be raped in this country First per capita by... People okay. who are born in this country First are citizens of all, it's of not country. true, but second of all, even... You're if not it, entitled... Ed, still talking here. Even if it you're were true, me, so these aren't people we have to have here. We already have our own rapists and murderers. We don't need to be bringing in wow. more Wow, so you're saying and that they are rapists and right. murderers? <clears throat> so is that what you're saying? But to, to, but to point, to a, a, but to point to a small, uh, to a racial oh. minority, a marginalized community, vulnerable people, and accuse yeah. them of being the rapists. He didn't he accuse Mexico of not sending their best people, and they're not no. sending their best people. We need well, they're not sending lie. anyone. That's we, a lie to begin with. Absolutely not true. They're not, that is not true. Really, the Mexican So, Mexican so Donald government. Trump wants to build a wall to protect us from the people who aren't raping Wait, you us. Just, he just said something that wasn't true. They were handing out first aid kits and maps for how to get to, who to was? America. The, the Mexican government? government to the poorest areas in Mexico, and we found them and we had right. them. Yes, they are not sending their neuroscientists. We need more. They're getting rid of their problems we need by more sending them immigrants, here. immigrants, not and fewer. I, I, we need well, yes, because you guys want your gardening done. No, you know what? Know. I cut That's my fine. own grass. You can have as many I cut my own as grass. Want, but I want the last time you pushed the lawnmower. I want them competing with Legalizing. And you. And right. those of us at this table are not competing with our landscapers and maids. And, you and know that's what? who's coming in. People who are here and are not documented okay. and that's are why he's gonna get not paid Hispanic. the same thing uh, that people Richard are Tate documented. Is marijuana so you're a lying. gateway drug. I hope so, because I need some right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's, no, it's not. Let, let me just tell you, it, I get about five to ten people a year calling me. Uh, to get their kids or their loved ones off marijuana. I get out of how many? Well, I get 90 a day. Hmm. So five for, or to, ten a year. Yeah. For I get, but I get 90 a day for right. prescription opiates. Of course. Which gives you the right. balance. Yes. And this has a, a, been a canard for decades. But marriage. I will say, and you're probably not going to be happy about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know, we keep getting better as a society, and this and the science shows now that your um, your brain stops developing between the ages of 23 and 25. So if that's true, I'd like to see a 25-year-old age limit. For pot? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Most doctors do. I'm not, I'm not invited back. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 I'm always for the truth first and yeah. facts first. I never heard that one. I'm glad I started late. I wasn't 25, but I was 19. That's right. a lot. I mean, that's not 12. I was 12. You were 12 when you started. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I, was I was 36 the first time I smoked pot. See, right. you're good. How did you start at 12? I took it from my father. Oh. Oh, my God. It's like the You ad. two should... Uh, I learned it. Yeah. 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 I, I, I took it from you my dad. You should hook up. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 He can teach you to cry about it. Not anyway... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I've cried about it in therapy. <laughs> uh, Nick, will you welcome longtime Republicans like Mary Matlin to your party? Well, it's not my party. I don't. I'm not a member of the Libertarian Party. But she, the Republican oh, strategist, said, "No, no, I, I, you're you're so I'm Libertarian, you wouldn't even yes. join the Libertarian yeah. Party." I would not have. That's amazing. That's really, party that's really yeah, Libertarian. I think it's great. What she said actually. She's in the was, fuck y'all party. <laughs> but she said that's the party that expresses what I think the government should do, right. which is you know a, a, a kind of basic social safety net and defense, and that's about it. And oh. I think I think more Republicans. The ones who say that they're for limited government, they really are full of shit for the most part. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Audience, thank you, panel. Thank you.